Welcome in. <laughs> what do you want me to say? Do we need to restart or can you cut it? Welcome to our home. So we're so excited to give you guys the finally the tour of the van. Just gonna show you. It's not gonna take long because it's small. But here we have the cockpit, obviously. Tommy drives most of the time. Gilligan is the co-pilot. And then we built this little headliner, is that what you'd call it? Mm -hmm. Up here on top. This is just some extra storage blankets. This is where our blackout curtains will go during the daytime when we don't need them and just um, some extra things like carbon monoxide tracker and a fire alarm. Is that what it is? Um, no, just carbon monoxide. That's all we have. But, uh, and then we have our dehumidifiers. So these little guys actually track and let us know if there's any moisture in the van. They turn green when wet and then you plug them in to an outlet. You plug them into an outlet, they turn back orange, and then they are ready to go again. So these are a really great investment. Not sponsored. The thing that is so nice when it's nice and cold outside is this heater. So this is a Webasto heater. It actually came with the van as well as the AC, which is awesome. This is tapped into our diesel line, and um, it burns like super efficiently, maybe like a gallon a day if you ran it all freaking day long, which would be ridiculous. So we just created this little makeshift heater, attach the duct, put it into here, and so this thing works like a charm. It keeps it nice and warm in here. All right, now we are in the kitchen. This is my favorite spot as a food blogger. When we built the van out, there were some things that were not negotiable to me, and one was a comfy bed, one was a kitchen because I love to create. So we got a nice sink, and we actually used a sink. We wanted to be able to have this be as much of a home as possible, so it's not just storage for us. We don't store anything in it. So we have this nice faucet, this comes off, and then when you look down here, we have our foot pump. So you'll see here, I'll pump, and the water comes out of the top. It's a nice shower. And then we move over to the stove. Now this we um, adapted from our friends over at Wandering Woods. They were a huge help to our van build out on this. Their dad actually kind of custom built this design. We took it, made it our own, and turned it into a internal stove. And the instructions say, do not use indoors. Outdoor camp oven. So then in here, you know, we have just, we can cook things. We cooked a pizza in here. And then on top we cook our eggs, bacon, everything else. What's cool about this, this kind of protects this under layer. So inside of here is the thermal box that we built to keep this nice and insulated so our countertop doesn't catch on fire. And um, Tommy built this little cover for it so when we're driving and you know doing other things, stuff doesn't fall down there and cause some kind of fire hazard. Next we have open shelving, so we like the open shelving concept, it just opens the van up. So that's where all the mason jar storage is. Um, we actually use mostly Kilner jars in here, which are these ones. They're pretty nice, they fit well, they don't bob around. And then here we have our sliding drawers. So everything in here, we have some more snacks, we have our necessities, bowls, plates, um, some, coffee, uh, some coffee materials. And we actually built these tracks custom and no hardware was needed. So that's really nice in there. Another thing we have up in here are these little charcoal bags. So they're going to help to absorb any toxins, junky crap that's in the air and just purify the air. We love these as well. So in the van we have 12V and we have 120 volt um, outlets. We also have two solar panels up on top. So the two solar panels power these lights. So you'll see, I think it's those lights. Any 12V system, so this one right here, there's one down on the floor right here, and then there's one up by our bed. The solar panels also power the fan, the fantastic fan in the back, that is a lifesaver. So if you're getting a van, have to have a fantastic fan. Then when we're plugged in, when we're plugged into shore power or like someone's house, like my mom's, we can use these. So then that's when I can run my Vitamix Instant Pot to kind of do more of the meal prep for when we're out in the woods. So that's here. We have one down here as well. This is where we charge our computers. And then there's one up in the bed as well. So here's more lights. <laughs> so cool. 
Now one other thing that runs off of the shore power is this honkin AC aka the island monster. Gilligan hates it and he shreds up our door. Now moving into the next area we have our pantry, our beloved little barn pantry. We haven't gotten all the shelves in here um, completely done yet but this will be storage for the cameras, electronics, we have our cleaning materials from Branch Basics, not sponsored again. Um, our favorites, Vital Proteins, we have some non-toxic parchment paper in here, mason jar storage, and just some of our necessities, coconut oil, coconut milk, some condiments, things like that. Hi. So now I'm up in the bed, I went really far to get here. So beside our bed we have little piano style hinges. So if you see right here, these all open up and they go down like, what, a foot? Yeah, as thick as the mattress. They're, yeah, they're as thick as the mattress. Um, they're super awesome. We have more storage in there. And then here we have the same drawers we had in the kitchen. So this has our clothes in it. Tommy doesn't fold his clothes very well. That's okay. Has clothes in it, extra things like camping materials. And then this is the fantastic fan. The bed was one of the non-negotiables in the van for us. A lot of vans you'll see had the fold-up beds that turn into seats, benches, blah, blah, blah. Not for me. I wanted a comfy bed. So, um, yeah, this bed is thick. It has the mattress here, and then it has a sleeping pad on top of it. And this mattress is 100% organic, non-toxic, wool, um, got certified. That was a big priority for me because mattresses are filled with junky chemicals like flame retardants, formaldehyde, all sorts of shiz that I don't want to be sleeping on for 25 years of my life. So, organic mattress, organic topper, the most comfortable thing. I have a code. Holistic25. One of the coolest parts of this van is that one of our friends in Spokane, Nathan Cromer, he uh, has a company called Cromer Leather. He custom made all of these handles for us. They are um, non-toxic dye, so they're actually dyed with walnut, which is really cool. So they match the van perfectly. They just look really, really nice. Now, for the garage. You are currently in the garage. I am outside, you're in the garage. This is a huge space that has all of our storage. It's raining. Um, it has all of our storage. So we have our cooler back here because we currently do not have a refrigerator. Interesting. But we also have some small things like camping, camping equipment, backpack, some extra snacks like Sejoya, Cocoa Fins. We have like seven boxes of them. Um, we have gear ties, all sorts of stuff for the road in case we break down or get caught in dirt or something. Here's our fridge. This is the pegboard. We repurposed this from the van when we originally bought it, cut it to shape, and painted it with non-toxic paint, of course. So everything in the van is 100% non-toxic, all the way down to the mattress, like I mentioned. So that means the stain, the wood, the seals, the paint, everything. This whole entire van is a non-toxic build-out. Oh hey, this is our toilet, but I'm not going to the bathroom. In case of emergencies, it's a composting toilet. We put things like coconut husks, coffee grounds, and other fun, earthy things. I haven't had to use it yet, and I never will. I'd rather poop on the side of a road, to be honest. And this is such a cool feature in the van. We lift this, pull this out. It comes out quite a ways. And this is our table. Courtesy of Papa Roland. Shout out. 